Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get Valentine's Day ready and we're actually going to start with body prep and showing you how to get silky smooth for the day. And first I'm going to prep and I'm going to use the Skin to Mitt Skin Therapy Shave Gel. For my razor I'm using the Chic Hydro Silk Trim Style and this has a hydrating razor on one end and a bikini trimmer on the other end. And it's great because the bikini trimmer is waterproof, it has five curve sensing blades and it also has an adjustable comb with four settings and a great handle. And this is great because you can get your legs and your lady pots all done all at once. The Chic Hydro Silk Trim Style Razor is available at grocery stores and drug stores for only $13.99. So it's perfect. You can get your hands on one for Valentine's Day so your legs are super smooth. After I get out of the shower, I just slather some coconut oil on to be nice and soft. So I'm going to take the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights uh, Illuminator and put that under everything kind of as a primer and um, just in areas that I want to glow. So cheeks, forehead, basically my whole face. Then I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match in W3 and the Clinique in I'm not sure what color but it's too dark for me and I'm going to put that all over my face and then I'm going to blend that out with a wet beauty blender. We want this look to be natural but still have a lot of coverage so the wet beauty blender is really going to make the makeup look more like skin so press it into the skin and really blend it out and take a lot of time to make it seem like it's your own skin. Then I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Shadow in the color Jean. I am obsessed with this product. I think it's beautiful. And I'm just packing that all over the lid. And then I'm taking this Lise Watier Nudes palette and taking these two colors, mixing them together and putting that in the crease just to kind of blend out the products. And then taking this Lise Watier Brown Liquid Liner. And I chose brown because I want the look to be really soft and pretty and as natural as possible, but still like looking like you're done up. Um, so that's why I chose brown. It's just a little bit softer and I'm just creating a very thin wing. Then I'm taking this NYX concealer in CW02 and putting that under my eyes, under my eyebrows, and anywhere I want to highlight. Then take that wet beauty blender and again, push it into your skin, blend it out and make it look au naturel. And then for the under eyes, I'm taking a very, very small brush and blending out that concealer. This is just to hide any stray hairs because I was too lazy to actually do my eyebrows. And then I'm taking the Lise Watier Contour Stick, which I've spoken about. I love this thing, I think it's amazing. And I'm carving out the cheeks. I'm making my face look a little thinner, a little less round. And then I'm gonna blend it out with the sponge on the uh, product because I actually like that sponge for blending out. And you know, it's nighttime, so I want my contour to be a little bit more severe. So I just took that same concealer and put it right under the contour to give that nice sharp line and then blended that out. Wanted to add a little more warmth to the face, so I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Concealer in Natural and just putting that right over top of where I put that contour and that will also set that cream contour in place. And then I'm taking this Maybelline Bouncy Blush and a stippling brush and putting that on my cheeks. It gives a really nice flush that's really luminous and pretty. I love that. 
And then I'm taking this NYX bronzer and just putting it like on my forehead because I felt pale. And then this Girlactic highlight, which is bomb. Look at that. Putting that on the high points of my face, uh, under my eyebrow, and a little bit on my forehead as well. And I'm taking the highlight and putting it right on my cupid's bow and a little bit up those like arches. I don't know what they're called, um, but I love doing this. I think it's so pretty. Put that highlight in with your damn beauty blender to make it look less powdery. And then I'm just putting some more concealer under my eyes because I was a little tired and I felt kind of gross. So I did that. And then the base is Dunzo. So I'm gonna add some finishing spray and just that will set everything. And then I'm just gonna add my favorite mascara. And then I'm using this Lise Watier Lip Primer because I'm going to be putting on some lipstick. And I am going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in this color. I forget what it's called, but it will be linked down below. This color is beautiful and it stays on really, really well. So I like how it's flat at the top because you can kind of line your lips, which is cool. Um, so I'm just putting that on my lips and it is a freaking beautiful color. Then put on some perfume, put on a cute dress to show off those legs, and you're done. And that's the makeup, it's done. I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day, it's so beautiful. I wore this out, and I got so many compliments on my makeup and my lip color, so I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Love you all, and I will talk to you soon, bye.